you know, again, you've, you've had a, a lot of talented players come through your program. And I sense that, you know, the, the student athlete today, there's perhaps a bit more transparency in, into, you know, how they're controlling different aspects of their career. Um, so when you're, when you're looking at a dressing room full of kids that, you know, all have aspirations to play in the national hockey league, several of whom are drafted, um, you know, how did you bring them together and, and get them into a team first mindset? Well, that's what I like so much about coaching. Uh, you know, you start with, uh, you know, basically 25, 26 players and they're all on different tangents. They're coming from Alex from Newfoundland. We had, you know, Thatcher Demko when he came from San Diego. So they're all different backgrounds and, uh, and to mold those players into a, you know, a common theme that we want to have the very best team we can. It's quite a, a challenge, and, but it's, it's, it invigorated me every year because you started all over again uh, each year. And, you know, seniors are gone, and your freshmen coming, but then your freshmen, they're sophomores. They're a little bit older. So it's a maturing process they're going through. And, uh, but that's, that's what I love about coaching. You know, the, you know, Maybe not as the drills as much as, but can we get this group of players, you know, when they all sign in. So it's a, it's a sign-in sheet. You know, here's your squad list, you know, one through 26. And we try to keep our numbers all low. I don't know how big those high, high numbers. But, uh, but that's a squad list. Now, can you turn that into a team over the course of the next five or six months? And uh, it's something I look forward to every year. Well, on that note, on, so in this time of year, the, you know, the, C, the puck has just dropped in the NCAA season. Um, you know, in the early parts of the season, were there any uh, key aspects of team building, be it off the ice or how you were going to play tactically, that you wanted to try and, and instill early um, at the onset of the season? Oh, sure. You know, the ability to uh, recognize there's other people out there, you know, and uh, not just the opponent, but your teammates. And, you know, to be able to, you know, move a puck and, and do it with uh, some type of, you know, uh, hey, this is going to benefit me because I'm going to pass, I'm going to get it back, we're going to move up the ice, uh, you know, because all, all the players come to our colleges, they've all been really good players, and at their level, they, they're, you know, they're not probably all, but they better take the puck and move up the ice with it and, you know, dangle by a guy, and all of a sudden, it, you come to an area where, hey, all of a sudden, there's good players, and, uh, but it's better to use other teammates, uh, you know, because you can talk about all your systems you want, but the ability to, you know, give and go, as simple as that sounds, is so, so important. 